it's rounded out with the Lolita. I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, yes, the Uranus used to be a decent pick, but right now with the standing of Marksman's and these DHS builds, these speed builds, it's not gonna be easy for him. And he doesn't have, I, don't, I mean, right now, I don't think he has sustainability against Glue. Maybe he will be able to stalemate R7, and if Falcon can just focus into the gold lane, maybe they can catch a win that way. But the final question is, once again, what does Ken pick up here for the jungle? He's sitting looking at that Marksman page right now. I was thinking something more on the lines of the Assassins, but Granger? Granger. It makes sense, man. It's a lot of burst damage in the early oh, game. Strange. It's the long range kill secure death sonata. It will be that Granger. And this is a complete flip, right? This is Falcon going all in in the early game. Maybe banking on a split push of Uranus in the late game. But for RR2, it's team fight all the way to add to uh, to their crowd control. Even a Numenon Blast on a Lolita. It makes sense, but will it work? I don't know. So much is on the line right now. And the Granger failed in game one. If Falcon wins it in game five, it's going to be a statement. That's going to be a redemption arc for Ken alone here. Falcon, though, I mean, both team compositions, they've got their win conditions. It's going to come down to the execution factor and who can set the pace first, set the tempo as that's been the story, the narrative between these two teams here. And now we're down to that final match as we just wait to load up here. Again, two teams, the lives are on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number five. Will the kingdom thrive or the Falcons soar on? We're about to find out. Just like that, we're into the game. Looking at the emblems, nothing too crazy. Killing spree yet again in the hands of Ken on the Granger, trying to make sure that he can go as aggressive as possible. And remember, from so far away, this roster, this composition coming in from Falcon can just instantly pick someone off. So in the early game, it's definitely a safe play coming in from RRQ, logically speaking. But sometimes RRQ, they don't operate by basic logic. Oh already trying to make a gank on his zip backs, and this is what I wanted to see Falcon do, but RRQ taking the initiative over that gold lane. Well, right now, you can see, right, they need to focus as much as possible on Zip X, not allowing him to get an advantage here in that gold lane matchup. Skyler needs to be able to come online as fast as possible as well, and still the objective game is going to be up to Albert and Ken. Can Ken get the tempo on this Granger pick? That is going to be crucial for him as the fight for even the purple buff. The tension is here. Vin getting in position. Ooh, a lot of damage on a Naomi there. Albert has claimed that position. Ken maybe going to try to pull something here. Big stun on a Justin. Justin able to flicker away. Yellow flash also coming oh! in. But the appraisal's wrath deletes Ken. First blood to the side of RRQ. It's first blood for RRQ, and that is Ken. Shut down again in the early game. We're seeing glimpses from game number two right here. That is not the start that a Granger wants in this game. And with the pressure, they're already trying to translate that to the other side lanes. Clay on this Farsa has been very actively roaming around. This is what they need to do. Abuse that mobility from the wings by wings. Yeah, I think biggest thing here, you use that mobility to your advantage. You find picks if you can. If not, secure the objectives, right? That's exactly what RRQ is going to do here with this first turtle. Just going to go cleanly in their hands. Able to continue to build on this tempo. Oh! And trying to get the play. Oh! Will get stunned here. Vin trying to cock it low, but they both respond. Ken goes down. Vin finds the kill. Justin tries to help out, but not fast enough. That's two deaths for Ken in only two and a half minutes. It's a death for Ken, but in, on the bright side, they were able to take Skylar out, but they used so much time and resources to ensure that result. In the mid lane, both are trying to build for a clock of destiny. The burst damage from the mid lane definitely favors Clay in the early stage. This range coming in from the Federal Airstrike is something that Falcon hasn't been dealing with in the past few games. Yeah, and at the same time, you know, Naomi being on this Kaja, it's a little bit different here, right? Instead of that Franco, you've got to put yourself in a position to be able to get that divine judgment off and finding the right target as well is going to be difficult with three tanky boys here. Look at the pressure on the purple buff. Albert just continues to come in, play, creating space for his team to claim this buff. 
Vin about to use oh. that last. Ken finds R7. A nice play. The stun does land down on a Falcon, so they can't push the objective too much. So they trade a purple buff. Oh, oh Zipex finding Skylar in the off lane as well. Falcon trying to keep the tempo. Early game Lunox damage. If you're a squishy mage, you do not want to deal with that. This is showing again the flexibility of Zip X and how much you're trading when you try and shut down Ken. RRQ is spending so much time, but they're allowing Zip X, the man who was carrying the past two games, to actually have a good time in the lane. Well, at the same time, I'm wondering here, right? With Zip X having that lead now, again, Skylar's died twice. So that already puts you in a good position if you're Zip X here, a little action in the mid lane, not going to convert into anything just yet, but still transitioning mid game. You've got to be careful of that damage from this Lunox pick. Has the Mystery Shop will be able to scale quite quickly, especially if more kills go in favor of Zipex. You can see already attention being put there on the top side. Turtle now up here. The turtle dance gonna ensue, Albert in position. Yeah, and Clay does not have the feathered airstrike right now, so the sniper shot does come down. Vin with the moon on blast, trying to create space. Watch Zipex, comes in, gets some nice damage. Skylar takes a turtle. Albert finds Naomi. Now Ken with a lot of range, dropping that Destinata, but yellow flash a little bit too deep. Oh! Will get deleted once again. Albert with a double kill. Justin tries to flicker, but Skylar finds him. Zipex trying to dodge. Oh. Nice flicker, but R7 is here along with the rest of the team. R2 oh, no. wants Suppression coming down, and Zipex, along with the rest of the team, fall. Holy the crowd no. is wild, and RQ reigns supreme in the early game. It's effectively a wipeout for RRQ, man. Every single member of Falcon fall, and this is what RRQ is able to do. Once they, they smell blood in the water, they just keep going. They don't let you escape with that huge play. You can see Skylar recovers, having that BOD right now. That's a lot of burst damage, and Ken is just su in such a tough situation. Only a Hunter Strike when he is supposed to be the main carry in the mid game for the side of Falcon. It's just catastrophic as R7 has a reading armor. So even if Justin wants to step in, if Zip X wants to try and burst him down, it's going to be very difficult. And Albert follows with a reading armor of his own. Not only that, but the whole fact that, you know, Skyler was struggling a little bit, but that whole interaction just put him in a great position. And at the same time, now Albert being even tankier with this lead here, he's a thousand gold ahead of Ken. It's even going to be more difficult to get Pass the pass Albert, get to the objectives. Conceal play coming out. They're still putting pressure here on the nest of the Falcons. Yeah, it's looking very rough for Falcons right now with already it being almost 4,000 gold deficit for them. Another turtle's gonna be up in 20 seconds. Oh, no. Watch out, watch out. Ken oh. almost gets stunned. A nice dash away though. Now Naomi's gonna hold the front side. Nice Oof. renner shot onto Zipex. And the range of RQ right now is too much for the Falcons to handle. Keep in mind later on in the game, there is a Lolita in the hands of Vin. That bulwark is gonna block uh -oh. a, lot of, ooh, a lot of damage, nice. but look at that. That's gonna be it. A nice pick. R7 though, doing a great job of surviving. What? It's not oh. his impact. Comes out of the clutch and finds him. But is this enough for Falcons to redeem themselves? He bought so much time, right? R7 able to cause the distraction, secures the turtle. Clean sweep now for RRQ. And it's a 3.5k gold lead. This is massive at seven minutes into the game. Oof. And they're still not stopping anytime soon, man. This is what they do. They just press on the tempo, and they have to be careful, though. Naomi can still very easily go for a pickoff, but for now, they are in the jungle of Falcon, taking control of the Falcon's nest. I mean, at this point, I don't even think Naomi can go for the pickoff. The moment he dives in there, if he does not find Skylar, he is going to get instantly shredded. Right now, RQ taking so much material on the map, it's looking very, very grim. Here's the thing you have to do if you're Falcon, right? It's a 4K deficit for the team. You're gonna have to wait. Most likely, it might even be better just to give up that first Lord. Let RRQ take it, do your best to defend. You need to allow yourself for Ken to catch up a little bit here, and as well as Zipex. That's your main damage dealers. This is the downside of having a mage in the gold lane, right? Oh, charge up though. They get the flicker out from, actually no, Justin just dashed out of that. So they get the new one blast out, but still, by the time the Lord comes up here, they're gonna have it available. Conceal though. Oh, Naomi uses it to get away though. They're definitely testing the limits. Like Falcon, they're, they're seen, they're trying to bait, but RQ is not biting. 
They're just like making sure that they go for the right engage. And honestly, if you're RRQ, you don't have to do anything too crazy. You have all the range to work with. The snipe coming in, you can usually use the feather airstrike to just chip away at the HP bars of Falcon. As long as you get the right target, I mean, Ken, Justin, and Zipex are all vulnerable to just getting bursted down. And if Yellow Flash or Naomi wants to try and do anything about it, there's DPS as well. This is why the balance composition of RRQ is just so much more dangerous in the mid game, unless Falcon got ahead. Well, right now, they're gonna focus here. Bottom side, putting pressure where they can. Looks like they are just gonna go ahead and give up this first Lord, as RRQ is just gonna go ahead and freely work on it. So Falcon just trying to find any type of win they can across the map, and right now there has to be space. That's their first turret of the game here. Now they're gonna have to defend against that Lord push. It is only the first one, should be fine. But still, Falcon trying to buy time here. And even if Naomi grabs any member of RRQ, they're gonna get collapsed down on. Again, whether it's Vin, R7, or even Albert, can Falcon actually respond to that and actually react to that clash down from RRQ, Arashi? I feel like the only real solution here is to try and take out Skylar and then try and win out by way of DPS because they do have a quote-unquote marksman in the jungle and they have a solid gold lane in, in form of Zip X, so they can still try and do that like they did in the wow. previous game. And look at that burst damage, though. That is insane, and this is the range. This is the problem. Right now, even Justin can't dash in to get Clay's ultimate, right? Can't dash in. The only one he's been able to take right now is Vin. He just can't, none of them, Naomi, anyone can find the distance. For now, the Lord is coming in. Gonna crash in on that inhibitor. The seal oh down. Oh my goodness! Lot of burst damage. Clay finds and Ken goes down. RQ reigning supreme. What the heck is that damage? And this is what happens when you get this lead, this tempo in your favor. They're assaulting the base of Falcon. I mean, they destroyed Ken without even using the Feathered Airstrike. That's just so much damage coming in from both the Feathered Airstrike and the Snipe coming in from Skylar. This combo is devastating, and it just comes from so far away, you don't really have time to react to it. I don't know if there's a way out of this, guys. I feel like Falcon is... They're sitting in the nest right now. They're sitting in the nest, and it is about to come crashing down. RQ is not taking their foot off the pedal. A real quick look at this stat here, M4 stats. RQ is ranked first in team damage dealt per minute mm -hmm. with 13,981. That's basically big damn, right? I mean, that's a lot to deal with. And you're seeing it here in the game. Falcon can't respond right now to it. Look Ooh. at that. Uh, Huge burst coming in from Clay. He has the Divine Glaive as well right now. And you can see two balls. That's all it takes. Look at it damage, man. Four items already complete, and that's before you even factor in everyone else. So here's the, the same strategy. Long range, magic, and physical damage. Three very beefy members with a ton of crowd control. Falcon has no assassin, no way to get behind the members of our RQ. I mean, taking a look at some of these items, it's just Ken is so far behind right now. All he's got is the Malefic Roar, yeah. the Hunter's Strike. It's becoming a problem. Well, I mean, the biggest thing, too, is you just don't have... Even if you find a pick, you have the follow-up damage. And let's say you do get one member of RQ down. You still have to deal with everybody else. I mean, at this point, the lead is huge. Can they turn it around? It would be a Holy Mary play, possibly from Justin. He's holding on to the Numenon Blast here. They could work with that plus Naomi and hope that Zipex and Ken can stay alive. But right now, the next Lord is going to be up on us. Falcon trying to get in position. It's half health here. Albert continuing to work Watch on it. Vin, 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 Whoa! Vin with the flicker. Down goes Zip X10. Will get stunned. R7 going to try to capitalize on this. The rest of RQ has found the blood. They smell it. Albert's going to hang out by this Lord, but Vin with the outplay. He just predicts the position coming in from Falcon and gets a massive Numenon Blast, sh completely shutting down any kind of contest. And now without Zip X in the picture, it does seem like RRQ are trying to get some more, but the wave clear is still not that bad coming in from Falcon. Of course, if Naomi makes a play, it's still possible, but RRQ, they can just wait for this Lord to come in, make sure that they manage the waves properly, and just, again, wait for the right moment to burst down the members of Falcon from so, so far away, completely out of range. Well, right now, Falcon, this could very well be their last opportunity here. Lord on the top side. Oof. Feathered airstrike oh. gonna come down. Oh, 
There's no build up for this one. No time to set the map because Finn is trying to strike. Lord has closed the distance. Dustin tries to respond with Unuron Blast of his own. But now RQ is here. They're trying to shred down the Lord, but not enough damage. Can Lord finally connecting? RQ guiding their time. They know they got plenty of damage to do this. Justin working his way around the side. Yellow Flash trying to keep them at bay. Minions are gone, so RQ must back oh. off. But another wave is coming. Beautiful render oh. shot. Zimbex goes down. Cray dropping the bombs from the air, and RQ wants this game. That is it. RQ has clipped the wings of the Falcons. Tonight they fall. The kingdom is proud, and RQ reigns supreme. Reverse sweep denied. RRQ with a dominant fashion for game five. What a massive play, massive game, and a great series to start the day. They showed us two same exact drafts, and in the third, the third game that can potentially go to Falcon, they completely switch it up, and they win in such dominant fashion. Who would have expected, man, the final game to be a, almost a stomp coming into RRQ? GG's.